words of encouragement can you provide for those that are listening in on this interview that, that are going to help them as they go into that interview situation? Yeah, and I appreciate it. I echo all the things that John and Rick had to say, and it's sort of nice to be third in the lineup because I've got the benefit of being, and I, certainly the positive na- nature of things. But I'm also, I realize that this, any time, even if someone has planned or anticipated that you're in this position where you're, you're suddenly thrust into a job search, it's tough, and it's hard to, you know, so all of these things, you know, some might be listening and saying, gee, that's easy to say, hard to do, and I think we all hear that. And so to, to focus on a sense of also the pragmatism that comes at moments like this, and through the eyes of a person who looks at talent, you know, what comes through, in addition to some of the positive attributes, is someone who has a sense of credibility, so they're thoughtful, they're a mm-hmm. sense of relevance. They understand what's going on in their related marketplace. And I would say finally a sense of curiosity in thinking about your job search. And if you take a view around what you know, how it relates to the world that's changing, not just the world that was, and I want to make a comment about that, and also have a real curiosity about the problems that are still needing to be solved, not the ones only that were solved 10 years ago. The comment I'd make is that it's sort of a natural act for a lot of people when we are, when they're thrust into job search mode, to look at their history, look at their accomplishments, turn the volume up real high with lots of adjectives and praise around what you did, which is fine. But the question you always have to be asking is, how was the situation that you uncovered or were part of some years past relevant to the problems of the day and of tomorrow? It may not just be what you did and what you accomplished, but the the thought process that went behind it and what you learned from that.